Hi, and welcome to this tutorial about how to set up your initial first tour. Uh, in this tutorial, I will show you the basic steps that you need to do, uh, how to create the hotspots and how to connect your scenes together. And also we discuss the different type of hotspots. Okay, so first step is to create a new virtual tour. I have created already one, but we can also create a new one. So let's call that tour number two. When you press save, it will open up a new tab for you and it will start the editor. The editor is still empty, so it will ask you for the scenes that you want to add to this tour. And for simplicity, we'll just select all of the scenes that we have for this property. Once you've done that, you'll have to tell the editor what image will be the startup image it's going to be the swimming pool and then save it and it will load the scenes okay so this is the main uh, area to work in uh, this is the startup scene that we just selected if you want to position reposition any scene uh, and set the default view just press this button and that view was then saved Okay, so on the right hand side, we see all the selected scenes and from here you can actually drag them in the right order if that is not the case yet. Um, let me just focus on the swimming pools here. We have three images of the swimming pool and you can drag everything in the right order so that when the player shows the thumbnails on the bottom, you will see them in the nice right order. Okay, so when that is done, you can minimize this. Here's a little button that if you click it, it will open up uh, an overview of how the current scenes are connected. In this case, there is no connection yet. So let's first, or uh, sorry, let's make our first connection. We drag this ball in here and we add a new hotspot. This hotspot, uh, shows up and what we have to tell is that we want to have the swimming pool as its destination. We can set the orientation, the view of when we enter, when we click this hotspot and it will go into this scene with this current view and then we can save it. Here there are some settings uh, you can select this or double click this number and then with your arrow keys go up and down you can select different images in this case or make it a bit larger or smaller also the rotation can be set if you want to have a bit of an angle in it you can do that also you can use by dragging and let go you can set the right angle or just type in the number, which is maybe the fastest way. Also for the alpha, which is the transparency, if you want to have it a bit less transparent, sometimes it's a nice effect to make it more blend into your scene. Um, in this case, 3D hotspot will leave that. So if all the settings are done, let's go to that new scene it said that the reversed hotspot is also created and that means that if we look into the other way we look back we see that this hotspot is also created we just have to reposition it slightly and then check if this is also okay so this looks into the other direction that means that we now have linked two scenes together and um, we can do that with all the scenes, of course. Um, so that's a basic, uh, quick overview of how to link up your scenes. And let's continue this quick tutorial by adding different type of hotspots.